Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I did want to, it's a late to Tuesday. Um, I am sorry I haven't been able to catch up with you guys. So maybe this can be what's up Wednesday. I don't know, <laughs> it's a new trend maybe. But I did want to um, thank some of you guys for reaching out. I know I've been a little MIA and I wanna thank those of you who have reached out to me and especially Marianne who just is always there for me um, and reaches out to me and you know asks how I'm doing seeing that everything's okay and it is I'm just um, I'm going through a lot right now so you know with some health issues so I'm just trying to um, focus on myself and get a lot of rest which is why I haven't really been crafting lately but um, little by little you know I do craft here and there and um, I just wanted to catch up with you guys and tell you guys um, how I've been doing I did end up finally going to Disneyland I know some of you saw that um, so my fiance, he bought me tickets to go to Disneyland back in January of 2020. And um, as some of you know, I did end up in the ER on my actual birthday that year. And um, when I got out two weeks later was COVID. So Disneyland then closed for over a year. And um, this year, January 2021, California was on lockdown again so again we didn't get to go on my birthday this year so finally when everything opened up and Disneyland finally opened we did go we didn't want to go when it was um, in the beginning because we were still weary about you know being with crowds but we wanted to make sure we were both vaccinated and then we were and um, although we did go you know, to Disneyland, it was already 100% capacity. Um, there weren't a lot of people and they did still queue off the line, so that was good. And I think at the time we went, um, it was still, you know, it was open to full capacity, but they were still limiting um, the number of people going into the park. So that's good, right? So it was, a good time my fiance is not a Disneyland person which is so disappointing to me so for him he didn't really have a good time I mean he he found it you know amusing but not you know not like me who's you know who loves Disneyland I could go any time of the day no matter how many times in a year and but he is just not like that he didn't grow up you know with Disney movies he didn't even grow up going to Disneyland I think he's 43 and he said he had only been once in his lifetime so that just shows you you know just how some people live and you know and the honest truth is that some people can't afford to go to Disneyland and that's how he grew up you know whereas you know me my mom, you know, would reward me, like, if I got good grades, I got to go to Disneyland, you know, during the summer, we went to Disneyland, Christmas, we went to Disneyland, so it was always something that my mom and my sister always, my older sister always kind of gave to me as a treat, so, um, that was fun for me, at least, <laughs> he tried, he tried, he did try, and he, he kept telling me, you know he was doing it because he loves me so you know you got to give it to him a for credit right so um the next thing is we finished up the sunshine and rainbows collab i'm so happy for that and once again i want to thank all of you guys who participated and especially to my co-host marion um who really encouraged me and pushed me to get into this and and um to you know because i didn't have any i i really wasn't confident about doing a collaboration so i had no idea what i was doing but she just kept pushing me that i was doing a great job and that i'd be great and it turned out really fun i hope that all of you had fun doing everything so um yeah that's for that 
Um, and I believe Marion is about to start the Pinkalicious collab next or this week, this week at the end of the week. So watch out for that and make sure that you watch all the crafters. It's Marion and Eve this time who, um, who coordinated their collab. So watch out for that and look out for all the crafters participating in that. Um, some challenges going on. I know that today was Martha's birthday, so a big shout out to Martha, Granny Martha. Happy birthday to Martha and her two daughters. They all have the same birthday, so happy birthday. Today was the last day of her giveaway, so um, she's requesting a card. My card probably won't make it there. I just mailed it a couple days ago, so... Um, you know, I just told her I'm sorry it was late, but you know, she didn't have to count it in the giveaway. It's, you know, it's just for support. And um, also, um, so if you wanna still support her, just make sure to wish her a happy birthday and send her a card, send her card her way. Um, another challenge still going on till the 31st, I believe, is Kathy's favorite things. Um, so Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things uh, is having a challenge. She is just requesting a VR. So make sure you take the time to do one of those um, VRs and uh, check out her channel. She does hauls. She does all kinds of vlogging. So you'll really enjoy her. And she's a sweetheart. So, um, And the last one that I know of is Elsa, who's Elsa, the bargain hunting crafter. She is turning 50 and she's having a challenge also until the 31st. All she's requesting is a, um, not a memory dex card, but a five by seven index card. So um, alter that in your style and send it into her. And uh, she's having a birthday challenge. So happy 50th birthday, Elsa. And I, um, she did have surgery recently, so I do hope that you are recovering, Elsa, and that um, you are on your road to good health. So, um, shout out to Elsa. And, um, yeah, guys, so far, that's all I have right now to catch up with you guys. Um, I'm not drinking anything today except water. Um, I'm really trying to detox my body, so... Um, I'm keeping it light with water and lemon water, um, but I did have Happy Meal to share with you guys, so I wanted to go ahead and share this Happy Meal. So I got this beautiful slimline card from Maka over at Maka's home, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the paper and... Then in the back it says handmade and created with Aloha by Makalani. Um, and then I don't know if you guys can see, but in the sunshine, hello, do you see all the uh, embossing there? Isn't that pretty? And it's propped up, sunshine is propped up on some foam tape so it, there's a bit of dimension to it. It's just this bright yellow card. She left it blank for me so that I could use it. And I don't have a slimline card. This is my first one. So thank you, Maka. I love this. I don't know that I'll use it because I love it so much. So <laughs> I am going to keep that. And then inside, she did insert some rainbow stickers, which is funny because I got these same ones for my thank you cards for the participants and um, it says Aloha Maria thank you so much for co-hosting the Sunshine and Rainbows Club I had a fun time participating cheers Maka at Maka's home so yeah she included that note in there so make sure you go check out Maka over at Maka's home she's a wonderful card maker you guys um, Stamp Fever is who she is it Stamp Fever yeah, is who she uh, gets her card kits from. And um, so she shares every month her unboxing. And um, then she shows you the cards that she makes out of them. So they're all really beautiful. She's a beautiful card maker, you guys. So check her out. You'll enjoy her channel.
And the next happy mail I received, I was really pleasantly surprised by my happy mail, you guys. I did not um, think that I would get happy mail from you guys. It was definitely not necessary, so thank you. Ooh, sorry about that. So thank you so much for sending me happy mail. Let me fix the camera for a second. Okay, there it goes. So look at this. I showed you the address very quickly, so I hope no one caught that. But look at the um, washi she used to seal up my envelope. This is the rainbow. And this envelope does come from Crystal over at Cruising with Crystal, who's a really good friend. So um, make sure you guys check out her channel. Part of the reason I invited her to join the club was because I wanted uh, Marion to get to know her. Um, Marion did not know of her, and Crystal is just one of the first crafters I started following along with It's a Deal. So It's a Deal, and then Crystal came close behind that. And um, I am just in love with the way she crafts. Her craft style is beautiful. Look at these beautiful bows she made me. The rainbow like kind of a rainbow paper and then she added like a pom-pom um, charm on there and then this one also has a charm super cute and look at the packaging you guys I mean and look at this I didn't even notice this but look at the the bows have tool and that sequin trim and the rickrack and then this one has that pink trim some pink eyelash trim and just a plain pink and blue simple trim isn't that beautiful beautiful bows crystal and but look at her packaging she put some star sequins and some of that some of those like kind of like jemmies definitely be reusing that beautiful crystal beautiful and then she gave me some alpha rainbow alpha letters thank you crystal and oh look at this she ended up giving me her little rainbow rope that she made i love how she did this she just braided up the yarn and I'm not sure how she put this together. I don't want to open it and have the sequins fall out because it's so beautifully packaged. Do you guys see all that? And the butterfly jemmy is so beautiful. Thank you so much for that, Crystal. Oh my goodness, and she gave me a mini pokey tool. Love this. Crystal, I love this. Thank you so much. And of course, today's prayer, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. John 4, 7. So verse 4, line 7. So thank you so much for this, Crystal. I really need to get those prayer cards and start inserting them in my swaps. I like that idea that you guys do that. And it makes you feel like... Um, it makes me feel like, you know, just gives me more purpose to craft um, and feel grateful that God gave me the ability to get to know you as well as to craft. So, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this note. It's on like this rainbow. Oh my gosh, Crystal it says, thank you, Maria, for inviting me in this collab. It was so much fun. Love, Crystal over at Cruising with Crystal, so make sure you guys check her out. Look at that rainbow writing, beautiful. Isn't that on some black post-its? And then, in this pretty little baggie, I'm not sure what this is. It doesn't have the confetti inside, so I can pull it out. Oh, she made me some beautiful, like, 
rainbow bows out of like yarn and trim. She just made these and you know, you could glue them onto something as embellishment. So beautiful. And then she did include this card with her note that said thanks a bunch. This small, was it three by three, two by two, maybe three by three card with all the rainbows on it. And it says here, thanks a bunch. It has, look at that. Look at that tool. And then she had some stars and a cloud. Then that's propped up. But that's so pretty. That might be a Dollar Tree sticker. So you, this is how you use up your stickers. See how she crafts, you guys? So beautiful. Thank you so much for your beautiful cards, guys. Um, so thank you, Crystal. Make sure you guys check her out. Crystal over at Cruising with Crystal and Makalani over at Maka's home. I do have a haul to show you guys, a small business haul. This comes from Janae over at Happy Mail Obsessed on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful package. So, got this package from her and all this shred. And then it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So, it says here, Maria, thank you for your order. Happy crafting, Janae. Beautiful gold foil. You could definitely reuse that for, like, paper. Um, and this is what I got from her. It's a bundle of beads. And I don't have these beads. Um, I want to get into dangle making. And so, I'm really trying to watch some videos. So that I can make dangles um, and include them in Happy Mail and stuff. And so I'm trying to get myself to do that. Um, it's really hard for me because I do have nerve damage on my left hand. So it's hard for me to do these actions. You know, I can't hold tightly with this hand. If And if you see, like, it's a lot smaller than my right. This is my right hand. See how it's a lot smaller because it's lost muscle mass because it's you know it has nerve damage and if you can see like the muscle has atrophied so my my fingers are a lot skinnier on this side so yeah you know it's it's just harder for me to do so often by dangles or um, they just really take me a long time to make so I'm trying to watch as many videos as I can before I start getting into it and see how um, how I can work or do that the easiest so I figure like big beads like the one I got from her might be easier to work with because they're bigger right so um, but yeah, you guys, that's everything that I have and everything that I wanted to catch up with you guys with. Um, I really hope that you guys continue to, you know, um, just, uh, uh, I guess continue to have faith in me. You know, if you don't see a video for a while, just know that, you know, um, it's not because I don't want to be around. It's just because, you know. I'm busy dealing with life and and things and you know like uh, it's summertime so right now too um, I've been doing a lot of uh, traveling to go see my family and things like that so um, that's another reason why I haven't really been um, filming but um, yes guys that's about it for right now um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video and other videos like these, please like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you check out everyone's challenges and everyone's channel that I mentioned today. I will link everyone's channel down below. And uh, happy crafting, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.